Hello everyone, welcome to the last episode of this three-part series featuring the best of Kruger National Park's wildlife. Enjoy this cinematic journey through one of the world's most diverse ecosystems and Southern Africa's most famous tourist destination. These terrestrial birds are known for making a loud and distinctive call, which is very repetitive. The call of the wattled lapwing is a communication method used for many different reasons, like a territorial defense or to attract mates, and even to warn others of danger. The call can be heard over large distances. Wattled lapwings are good indicators of environmental health and are often used to monitor the state of a wetland. While leopards may seek shelter during particularly heavy rainfall, they are often able to tolerate light rain and will continue with their normal behavior during wet conditions. While African leopards may not necessarily enjoy getting wet in the rain, they are able to handle it without too much trouble and may even benefit from the conditions in certain situations. Unlike other woodpeckers, the Bennett's woodpecker is known for its style of foraging on the ground. Instead of foraging for insects and trees, this species of woodpecker prefers to feed on termites, beetles, and in this case ants. It uses its strong beak to dig up little pieces of soil and disturb the ants. These woodpeckers are one of the few species that feed on the ground. The Marshall Eagle is the largest eagle in Africa, and it's known for its broad wingspan and its powerful talons. This is one of the most powerful birds in the world, and it mainly feeds on mammals, reptiles, and other bird species. This individual is feeding on a rock monitor lizard. And by looking at its bulging crop, I would say it's pretty much done with the meal. Juvenile martial eagles look nothing like the adult birds. It takes these birds three to four years to be fully mature. And during this time they change their appearance and develop the plumage of an adult bird. This individual needs to practice its takeoff a few more times.
The southern ground hornbill is the largest species of hornbill in the world. Their bodies are a length of 90 centimeters and they have a wingspan of 140. They are often seen walking on the ground as they search for food. Look how this one tries to catch this dragonfly. Southern ground hornbills are unique in both their appearance and their behavior. Lion prides are complex. These two individuals could be cousins or even siblings. This young male isn't fully mature yet, and soon he'll be forced out of the pride and have to fend for himself and establish his own territory, unlike the younger cubs which rely heavily on their mothers for survival. Different species of vulture can often be seen hanging out together, and this is because vultures take part in what's known as mixed species foraging. This is when multiple species of vultures feed together, and the reason for this is because they'll be able to locate and consume carcasses more efficiently. The bite force of a spotted hyena is one of the strongest of any mammal relative to its body size. It's even strong enough to crush the bones of this large male kudu. For comparison, the bite force of a spotted hyena is two times more powerful than that of a male lion. The dwarf mongoose is a small carnivorous mammal.
Despite their small size, the dwarf mongoose is fearless and will often stand up to much larger predators, like snakes and birds of prey. The woodlands kingfisher is mainly an insectivore. These birds migrate to and from Central Africa and breed in the Kruger National Park during early summer. This is when their unmistakable call can be heard the most. I'm sure you've noticed the call of the woodland kingfisher throughout the three part series. Buffalo are capable of eating a wide range of vegetation and can tolerate a variety of habitats from grasslands and savannas to swamps and forests. The Cape Buffalo is dangerous to humans and they are considered one of the most dangerous animals in Africa because of their strength and their aggressive behaviour. Where there is such a big herd of buffalo there are bound to be plenty of oxpeckers. Big buffalo herds attract yellow-billed oxpeckers which are uncommon compared to their red-billed cousins. The African barred owlet gets its name from the distinctive horizontal stripes which are on its back, its head and its tail. These stripes are known as barring. Unlike other owls found in South Africa, this owlet has large yellow eyes. And even though it's a nocturnal species, its unique call can be heard during the day and night.
these small owls are brown and grey in colour which helps them blend in well with their surroundings. This makes them tough to see. Their loud repetitive call which can carry on throughout the night gives away their general location. I hope you enjoyed this three part series of the incredible wildlife and breathtaking scenery of this amazing ecosystem. The Kruger National Park really is a diverse and wonderful place. Thank you so much for watching the video, if you enjoyed please like and subscribe and hit the bell notifications so you'll know when other videos are uploaded.